Within days from the global debut of the new generation Range Rover Sport, Jaguar Land Rover India silently revealed prices of the upcoming luxury SUV. And the model range is priced from 1 crore 64 lakh rupees going up to 1 crore 84 lakh rupees. All prices are ex showroom India. The new generation Range Rover Sport will be offered in four trims SC, HSC, Autobiography, and First Edition. So far, prices have only been revealed for the diesel version, while prices for the petrol option will be announced at a later date. The new Range Rover Sport packs a modern design and loads up with the latest features making it the most advanced sport from the marquee brand. The SUV is loaded on tech with a 13.1-inch curved touchscreen system with PV Pro infotainment. The new Range Rover Sport also comes standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as well as wireless charging. The new generation Range Rover Sport is expected to arrive with six-cylinder Ingenium petrol and diesel engines that come equipped with mild hybrid technology. There will be a new BMW sourced 4.4 litre V8 twin turbo on offer as well. Deliveries will begin in November this year. Harley Davidson has witnessed a resurgence in its sales in India as the brand managed to regain the number one spot in the high end motorcycle segment. According to the data shared by CM, Harley sold 601 motorcycles in the 2022 financial year, of which 531 units were sold in the 1000cc and above two wheeler segment. The company witnessed a 37% growth year-on-year, year, against 206 units sold during the 2021 financial year. When compared to other premium motorcycle brands, Harley was substantially ahead, as against Tri Motorcycles selling 336 units, Kawasaki selling 283 units, Suzuki selling 233 units, and Honda selling 71 units in the 1000cc and above motorcycle segment. The majority of the iconic American brand sales have been driven by the new launches, that includes the Pan America 1250 and the Sportster S. Hero Motor Corp, that took over Harley's distribution in India in October 2020, is currently operating 13 dealerships and 10 authorized service centers across the country. Maruti Suzuki finalized a land site for its new vehicle manufacturing plant in Haryana. Dot Omega completed the process of allotment of an 800-acre site at IMT Kharkhoda in the Sonipat district with the Haryana State Industrial and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited. Maruti Suzuki confirmed that the first manufacturing facility at the site will have a production capacity of 250,000 vehicles per annum. It is expected to be commissioned by 2025, subject to administrative approvals. The first phase will see the Indian auto giant invest about 11,000 crore rupees for building the manufacturing facility. The land site will have space for capacity expansion and will include more production plants in the future. Karan Bike understands that the new facility will be utilized towards expanding the production capacity of the company's existing model range and will not be specific to battery electric vehicles. The existing Gurgaon and Manisar plants will continue to operate at full capacity. We simply love, love, love hearing from you. So your comments and feedback are important. Subscribe to our channel, react to this video, and of course, watch our other videos too.